Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Our first comment comes from someone named Rober Hardcore Beats. And they're commenting on a post that I put in my community section where I talk about an individual that calls themselves the commander-in-chief, the mustard-mastered, postmaster, genital, or general, or whatever it is. Um, that never forget that this individual went through the fiction system, i.e. YouTube, and reported my video where I was critiquing his grammar, showing the errors in his grammar, and also showing him how to fix the errors in his grammar. But because I used footage from his video, um, they filed a copyright strike against me. He and his uh, caregiver or girlfriend or whatever. So I just want to remind people of that. That an individual who claims to have so much authority and so much correct sentence structure knowledge and power that he can take over the Supreme Court and and disqualify the 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 Universal Postal Union and whatever else that uh, he really doesn't have any power in those regards. Actually, only the power that you give him. So therefore, he had to resort to YouTube. I gotta digress here. Thousands of YouTubers make videos, reaction videos, using music, footage of music, copyrighted material, music. They use it. They say good things, they say bad things. Some of these people have millions of subscribers. And the copyright owners of those videos do not put a copyright strike on, on the users of the videos, of the footage. They don't do it. They could, but they don't. So why do you think this individual would do such a thing? So this is in relation to that. And uh, Rober says, hey, man, so who is the man in charge then? Just asking, because I see a lot of people claiming they are. Well, Robert, let me ask you. Why do you feel the need to have a man in charge? Why not a woman in charge? Or more importantly, why anyone in charge? Why can't you be in charge? Because with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar and the mechanics of autonomy that I teach, each man or woman is in charge of themselves, nothing more, nothing less. Well, I mean in charge of themselves, their biospheres, if they have uh, children under their protection, so on and so forth, yes. But in general, each individual is in charge of themselves. 
what's with this authoritarian nanny state type of mentality where who's in charge then? We need someone to be in charge. Why? Because people are more comfortable putting responsibility and accountability onto others and they would rather not take it for themselves. It might be easier, but then you give up your freedom, uh, you give up your autonomy, and you submit. You bow down. So that's my question to you. You ask me a question, I'll answer it in simplest terms that I can. I'm in charge, but only of me and my construct. That's it. I don't know about anybody else. I'm not in charge of anybody else, only myself. Uh, I answer for myself. Uh, I authorize all of my contracts. I can't speak for anyone else. So there's your answer. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Colin Spencer. Thank you for your membership, Spencer. And they say, good closure on the testimonials. Ah, they're referring to the reaction video I did on the Mark Lowercase K video where he had some of his followers sharing how much they enjoy him and his teaching. And the Learner 1000 also commented on this same video and they said, Hi Jason, first of all, I enjoyed this video, Critic. This is what I meant from my last comment on the video of S versus Jason. These people are ruining it for the rest of us. Um, as I explained in the comments to the Learner 1000, which I don't know their correct name, if at any time they'd like to step out of the shadows, come up onto the geometric level playing field of contract and participate with rule one, rule equal, balance of honor and grace, um, then maybe they could share their correct name. Because I know they know my correct name, but I don't know their correct name. So they're kind of keeping the, the geometric level playing field unbalanced. They're not on there. There is no such thing as anyone ruining it for anyone else with correct sentence structure when you're looking at it through that correct lens. The only one that can do that is you. Um, those people that you're talking about aren't using correct sentence structure. They're not. So how can they ruin it if they're not using it? That's like saying um, someone's out driving like a jerk, driving a car like a jerk, and then you say, well, they're going to ruin it for the rest of us. They're going to ruin our car. Well, they can't because they're not driving your car. Your car is your car. Their car is their car. There is no ruining it. They seem to be pot smokers that can't even speak correct fiction. Well, that's an interesting allegation. No wonder that S went to jail. He listened to MKC. I think you mean M lowercase C. Correct sentence structure is too much for them. It's outside the field of understanding capacity. Well, the Learner 1000, in order to make that type of assessment, that type of, reach that type of conclusion or judgment, then you yourself must have closure on the grammar and able to be able to assess someone else's knowledge level. Do you have closure on the grammar? Do you have a position to make a judgment on someone else in that capacity? Because if you don't, now you're making an assumption presumption an incorrect sentence structure that's a no-no <coughs> snooker <coughs> snookering's peanut butter your analogy of buying a car is spot on i'm thumbs up number five. Oh, and i just used another car analogy so Ain't that quaint. Thanks for the uh, comment. Another one from The Learner 1000, and they say, Dear Jason, no, no, I never intended to direct any demeanor towards you. And I didn't think that I hinted at or implied that you directed any demeanor towards me. Uh, I don't think I ever said that. I was merely bringing it to your attention as you did to the audience. I've watched many fails in court by these half-wit people, like in the video, that they think they have a handle mastery 
on the correct sentence structure and they don't. It's not only correct sentence structure that they lack, but also logic. As you saw and heard, the lady sending letters to the bank. That was just plain stupid. This is where I made the comment of ruining it. Um, again, since you're here as a guest aboard my vessel in the comments field, please be cognizant of name calling, of making judgments about other people's mental condition of state, you know, things like that. It's just not correct behavior here uh, on this vessel. We don't do that here. Um, that's. Again, presumption, assumption. The lady can send letters to whomever she wants to. That's her choice. It doesn't make her stupid. It doesn't make her intelligent, you know? I mean, it's just, we don't know the situation, so how can we, you know, cast aspersions or, or compliments when we don't know the situation? These, this is rule one, rule equal, simple judge mechanics that I'm teaching here. Now, the way that I... Uh, articulated it in the video that you're commenting on is that I was looking at it through the lens of correct sentence structure and logic where she's saying one thing she's saying that there's a mortgage situation and she wrote to the bank and asked them what a mortgage is tell me what a mortgage is to paraphrase and then she said the bank wrote her back three different letters that were hard to understand, but basically she summed it up. They all said, we will contact you if we need to talk to you. And then she hadn't heard back from him. And then she went on to say that she doesn't know quite how to explain it, but that ever since she started using Mark Lowercase K's techniques and suggestions, the bank has stood in honor of their contracts. And I pointed out that that's not true because she quite plainly said in the video that she asked the bank what a mortgage is, but they didn't answer it. So they're not standing in honor. That's all I was pointing out. You are correct. I am with the volition of learning correct sentence structure and so far by your correct sentence structure skills are tops. I will be in touch soon to get tutoring. Best regards. The Learner 1000 for now. Ah, so they are not with the volition of participating with uh, the geometric global playing field. So, you know, as I say, everything's a choice. Thank you for the comment and for the thoughts. Next comment comes from myself, and I say, Observation. So many lurkers and viewers don't hesitate to voice their thoughts in a live stream chat or comments field. Yet, when the opportunity arises that they actually are given a space to come face to face with me on the geometric plane level field oh misspelling on level there sorry about that i'll fix that when i'm done suddenly they vanish and only the ghost of their bravado remains it is what it is and this is all part of my knowledge cultivation system so what i'm talking about here is uh recently uh i came on line on youtube in the morning and began publishing posts saying, I will be holding a confidential Zoom consultation for anyone who wants to attend. I will leave the link in the community section. All you have to do if you want to attend is click on the link, make sure your correct name is displayed on the screen and that your video and audio are working. That's all I asked. And also, of course, you'd be respectful. Uh, and you can ask me whatever you want to. I advertised it. I even created a video uh, telling people about it, telling people where to go so that they could attend. And in less than an hour, that video got 40 or 41 views. You know how many people showed up? Zero. So out of those 40 people, who really wants to learn the grammar? Who really has the <laughs> the guts to step forward and do it? None of them. <clears throat> so that's what I'm talking about here. So many people are willing to just type out enormously long comments. As you can see in these comments videos, this one, the last one, 
uh, you know, every single comments video, you can see very long comments from people willing to voice their opinions, whether it's positive or negative. But when it comes time to actually get up close and personal, face to face, come up on the carpet, very, very, very few people have the courage to do that. But those that do, those are the ones that I predict will succeed and learn the grammar. Next comment comes from someone named Chill Perjerg Patriota. And they say, I hope that at some point we will have a vocabulary for Hispanics, as well as a list or sequence of the learning process. I would love to pay, but the conditions are not what I like. What I would like. A tremendous hug. Are they saying they would like a tremendous hug? Or are they offering that to me? I can't tell. So, as I uh, gave Kuliana back in the comments field, I get, you know, several comments, you know, a week from Spanish-speaking individuals who ask, you know, express similar sentiments. And this is what I say to them. Like, this individual seems to have a very, very, very good grasp of plain English, at least in writing form. Like, they look to be very well spoken. If they know plain English that well, then they should have no problem learning correct sentence structure from me because I speak plain English, and I would teach it to them in plain English. And then if they have the tenacity and gumption to follow through and get closure on it and complete the classes, then they can create a vocabulary for Hispanics and a Hispanic list or sequence of the learning process. This is what I did when I created my YouTube channel in 2017-2018. I saw a void and I filled it. I created something that people needed. Chill per jerk uh, seems to think that Hispanics need their own uh, list or sequence of the learning process and vocabulary. So, therefore, if you see that vo void, patriota, step up and learn it. Create it yourself. Um, there's room for everybody here. They say they would love to pay. Um, well, as you know, there are no charges or fees for what I do. I navigate on a donation gift basis only. Everything that you need to learn the grammar is right here on this channel for free, if you like. If you want to support me, you can join the membership, of course. But other than that, it's all free. You, you don't need to pay. And if you want to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a workshop uh, to fast track your learning, that's completely up to you. Any further questions would be asked or answered during the consultation that I would schedule with you. Uh, so keep that in mind. Thank you. Another comment from chill per jerk patriota and they say i missed a long-awaited free class and it's not because i want everything for free as i know many are claiming it with a right and obligation of those who are prepared to give it all away for free i'm not sure i understand what they're articulating there uh, but i do know that i do not participate with the concept of rights because rights come from an authority and i don't recognize any authority other than myself. I myself with the little and nothing that I share with you only loose information that little by little I am finding of all these topics hidden by the deceptions of the system that enslaves us. Uh, again I disagree. I don't think anything's hidden. If you're willing to put in the blood sweat and tears put the legwork in you'll be able to find what you wish to learn. And if something is blatantly classified or hidden away from the public then it's not worth knowing anyways it makes no difference because anything that happens with the balance of honor and grace maintenance of rule one rule equal happens on a geometric level playing field and when you classify something you violated that you are in violation of rule one rule equal and I don't want to contract with you anyway but that's just the way I, I do things I know it is frustrating what is happening on the planet as you very well exposed the one of the 1% that is really following the process to unlearn and learn what is correct 
as the quantum grammar for the process of the claim. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's not frustrating to me. I'm not frustrated at all. I'm actually uh, very happy um, because I firmly pr participate with the concept that everything is as it should be and everyone has a choice. I mean, if you're frustrated, uh, I do have empathy for you. If you learn correct sentence structure, that might be one way to ease your frustration and come into a more calmer condition of state of psychology. I haven't even started the claiming process yet, but I try to understand what I can without knowing English. Well, it looks like you know English pretty darn good. As far as I can see, I have students that can't speak English half this good, and yet they can learn correct sentence structure. Although it's not the same as enjoying the class as it should be, tremendous hug, hug no perjury, Juan Esmeraldo con Rivera Guajardo. Ah, living man UCC. Uh, so they've done the common law UCC thing. Now I'm getting a sense of uh, where this individual is coming from. Thank you for the comment. Next comment comes from R. Fortal. And they say, sorry to be unable to follow your Zoom invitation because the time difference between USA and Europe and the very short time to prepare for that. I think what they're saying is they saw the notification, but they could not prepare for it. Maybe, if that's what they're saying. Uh, so I'll give Cooley on to that in several different fashions. Uh, the first thing I'll say is that I was giving notice to this confidential consultation, group consultation, for at least, I think, three hours. I started early, started sending out hints that, yes, I'm going to be posting a link. And then the link itself and the meeting itself was open for people to come aboard for 60 minutes. Over 60 minutes, probably. Um, as I said, 40 people saw the announcement video, but none of them showed up. And as far as time differences between USA and Europe, I do consultations and workshops with people all over the place. Our Forto, I do them with people in Europe, uh, with people in New Zealand, Australia, uh, the Caribbean, uh, I want to say Asia, but I'm not sh too sure. Uh, but let's put it this way. Every single hemisphere, pretty much, I've done a consultation or a workshop with people from there. So it's not an issue. And if you really want to, if you're really serious about it, or tell, email me, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, and we'll set something up. Another comment from Chill Per Jerg, and they say, Today, at almost 50 years old, I understand that what I know is part of a huge deception. Well, chill per jerk. Thanks for sharing that. I myself am 51 years old. Um, and I don't know if it's a huge deception. That's kind of a that's kind of presumptuous. Because out of all the people that I've dealt with since I learned correct sentence structure, all the Vasilis I've dealt with, not one of them has ever known about correct sentence structure, and none of them uh, seem to be purposely using grammar to trick people in the sense that you're talking about. Meaning, you know, there's not a group of people, there's probably not a group of people sitting behind closed doors getting together saying, let's write up another fictitious conveyance of grammar so that we can deceive everybody. I don't think any such thing happens. I really don't. But that's my own practical experience of uh, using this stuff successfully for the past five plus years. I was surprised by the legal fiction, which are the flags, including my oath in the Chilean army. All part of contracts. I don't know why that thing's there, but anyways, I did not know. 
So this individual is saying they made a contract with the Chilean army that they did not know. So chill per so that I'm clear on this, you're saying that you didn't know what you were doing when you joined the army? Are you saying that, what, you didn't read the contract? Or are you saying that you signed a contract that you didn't understand? Because either which way, uh, you're the one that did it. Um, unless someone was, you know, twisting your arm to do that stuff. Uh, no one else decided to do that but you. Do you see what I'm saying? It is of exclusive individual responsibility to unlearn, to learn what is correct. I should have studied English to be able to think in English and to understand the videos you share. I am very grateful. A hug. Okay, so I think your English is, is very good, judging by this. So I think you would have no problem learning correct sentence structure, judging by your, your plain English here. And then final comment comes from R. Fortal, and they say... Thanks, this sound like a deal because I'm curious how this work out for those living outside USA and not living in the Commonwealth and want to deal in their own native language with the local juridical system. My country was the first one that canceled the post office. Okay, this is an interesting comment uh, because of the last thing they say there. Their country was the first that canceled the post office. Well, if you cancel the post office, how do you receive mail if you cancel the post office? So I'm not sure what you mean by that because it doesn't sound like a thing that really happened. I think maybe they mean something else. Um, how does this work for those living outside the USA? There is no inside and outside when it comes to correct sentence structure. The jurisdiction is universal okay that flag is not a flag of the United States that flag is the title for one by 1 1.9 grammar flag of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar the flag of the land during the time of the contract it has nothing to do with a country per se as you're saying other than the c country of correct grammar that about does it for this one thank you very much for watching if you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.